Find the derivative of the inverse of 5x equals negative 4x cubed minus 4. All right, so what I need to do is find the inverse of that. What you do whenever you find the inverse, and right now what I'm going to do because it makes my life easier is I'm going to pretend that f of x is y. So I'm going to pretend that f of x is y. Whenever I'm finding the inverse, the first thing I need to do is I need to swap the x and the y and then solve for my new y. So this is me doing exactly that. In order to get y all by itself, you have to add 4, add 4, and crosses out. Now I have x minus 4 equals negative 4y to the third. I'm going to divide everything by negative 4, so divide everything by negative 4, divide everything by negative 4, bu bu. So I have negative 1 fourth x plus 1 equals y to the third. Now I have to cube root both sides. Cube root both sides. And that gives me y equals, now watch how I, I know what's going to happen. If I'm going to have to take the derivative, that cube root doesn't do me any good. I'm going to put it as to the one third power. I have negative one fourth x plus one living in my parentheses, so that becomes that. Now I'm gonna write that out as the inverse. Now that's not my answer. I just have to find the derivative of that. Now finding the derivative of this guy requires chain rules. So you have the inside stuff, which is there. You have the outside stuff, which is there. So the derivative of the inverse is going to have me taking the derivative of the outside. So bring that one third out front. Uh, one third minus one is going to be negative two thirds. Keep the inside. So negative one fourth x plus one. And then multiply everything by the derivative of the inside stuff. The derivative of negative one fourth x is just negative one fourth. That's supposed to be the end of the parentheses, but something happened there. Plus one, nothing. Uh, so let's clean this up a little bit. All right, I now have this big fraction where so far one is on top. Three is going to be multiplied to negative four. So let's make this whole thing negative. So three times four is 12. And then I have on the bottom, because I can move this down, negative one fourth x plus one to the two thirds, leaving me with just one on top. And that's good enough an answer for me. I think that's acceptable. It looks kind of gross. I mean, if I really wanted to turn this into a, a cube root of that guy squared, I could, but you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough of that problem. That problem's good enough for me.